What's up guys and welcome back to Pete's Carport. Today's episode we're going to be doing some custom hood vents using this fiberglass Evo hood vent that I picked up off eBay and we're going to mount it onto another hood that I picked up off offer up for only 40 bucks so it's going to be a fun project we get to test out some things so let's go ahead and get started. guys so first thing I did was laid out our uh, vent piece onto the hood and of course the RX-8 hood has that um, famous swooping uh, mark there in the middle that dips down so in order to get those lines and of course we're gonna line up which I'm gonna show you where that measurement is behind the radiator the entire concept of this is to draw air out of the engine well and keep air coming into the radiator because you can actually um, mess up airflow by putting these vents in the wrong place. So in order to do that I had to kind of draw out a cut that I'm gonna make and of course I could have done this tons of different ways. Um, I even planned out cutting the exact shape and then thought if I don't get that exact shape it could look pretty funky so I'm gonna cut out a big piece of this fiberglass but still keep that uh, really cool uh, Evo design and then uh, from there we're gonna mark where we're gonna put the holes and we're gonna cut that into the hood. Uh, I did go down and get a jigsaw, some eyeglasses. Uh, we're gonna be wearing a mask because we're gonna be cutting fiberglass and got some uh, new blades and everything. So let's go ahead and set up and get this cut and then we'll mount it up to the hood, see where we're at and start cutting the hood. because the first cut came out extremely clean. Now, I knew when I cut this that um, it would hang a little bit over here. I was trying to keep as much of this shape as I could without cutting into it too much. And I also wanted to leave some meat here just so I could drill this down without having any issues. Now, my idea was, since I'm gonna hang over a little bit here, if I pull that up to be call that right there close to the middle let's say I pull that up to be level you can see here I'm over a little bit so my idea was to shave some of this off which would be quite easy um, I can probably just grind it down or push it back and have it over a little bit and when I screw everything down it won't look too bad now keep in mind this is all gonna be painted black it's all gonna match and uh, the only thing I might keep silver are the screws that are going to hold this down. So let's go ahead. I'm going to play around with it a little bit, decide on what I'm going to do, and uh, let's get this thing uh, set up to cut through the hood. Okay, so our um, radiator starts um, a little bit, like a little under eight inches, and so I went a little over eight inches back so that we would uh, start our ventilation um, on these holes here beyond that eight inch mark. So we're about eight and a quarter inches past the middle of our hood here and plenty more over here. What I did was I did an outline of the vents and I'm gonna cut those a little bit bigger because we're going to put some screening into the underside of those holes and then we're gonna bolt everything down. So I went ahead and uh, drilled a couple holes in the corner here so I could get my uh, metal um, drill into there. You're gonna use the same drill, uh, Sorry, the same, um, yeah, the same saw that I used earlier to cut the fiberglass. We're going to go ahead and get our mask on and get started on this and get these holes cut open and then line everything up. Alrighty, guys. So after a, a long day of cutting and fitting, it looks like I got it the way that I want it. Um, I did have to use uh, quite a few different techniques. Um, up underneath, we had to remove a lot of the material because there's a double layer. But I think I got it where I want it. I think it fits really, really well. I've centered it, and uh, I've already went ahead and did a 220 with the vibrating sander all the way around, and then wet sanded it, because I'm getting ready to paint the entire hood, and then I'll go ahead and prep the, uh, the vent piece and get that painted as well. Uh, probably gonna put some uh, screening up underneath there 
to match the screening that we're going to be doing on the front bumper. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys everything's nicely cut out and um, it went really well. There was a lot of work that I had to do trimming down to the part where I wanted. Next thing's going to be uh, screwing it down and I'll show you guys that after we get it painted. Probably let it dry for a couple of days so you'll see that uh, days after I do this. But just wanted to fill you guys in in the middle of this video on where we were at and how it's looking. Alrighty guys, so time for a quick uh, showing of the layout. I am loving the way this looks. Now this is not complete. The uh, hood was just painted yesterday, so it's only had about uh, less than 24 hours to cure. So it's very soft. Um, trying to be very delicate with it because I did mess up the, um, the, the, the uh, hood vent piece. And uh, I gotta go ahead and repaint that. You might not be able to tell on this film, but uh, there were some spots where I laid it down and when I picked it back up, it got stuck to the carpet even after letting it dry for um, almost 24 hours. Also, uh, the piece of mesh that I tried to use was not big enough, so I tried to basically pull two pieces together. Uh, I don't like the way that it came out. I was planning on possibly like gluing those and then painting over them so that they all blend. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is go down. They do have it a little bit larger, but not in the plastic like this. They have it in a metal. So I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase uh, the metal mesh, uh, get it glued in there really well, paint it, and then um, we're basically going to take some uh, self tapping screws and some heavy duty adhesive all along these areas here. And then we're going to self tap in a few screws to hold it down. And I may take those screws out, fill it, and um, and then and then obviously we sand a little bit and paint it. But I might keep the screws in there. I might even paint the screws. We're gonna kind of play it like we've been doing, play it by how it looks and how it's going and how easy easy it is to either take out or keep them in. But let me know what you guys are thinking of it so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead probably and get this video up so you guys can see it and then show you the final product. Uh, it might be a week down the road. So once again, thanks guys for tuning in. My name's Peter, this is Pete's Carport, and love to have you guys here joining me on this adventure of building this Mazda RX-8. Have a great day, guys.